we're looking at number 11 right now from the homework. So again, uh, 4.9.11, we're going to use Newton's method again to approximate the root. Uh, now this time, we have a, a much more complicated equation here. We have cosine of not just x, but cosine of a function of x equals x cubed. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. we got to solve for 0. So we're going to solve for 0 here. I'm just going to subtract the x cubed to the other side. And we're going to end up with this right here, cosine x squared plus 5 minus x cubed equals 0. This, again, is our function f of x right there. So let f of x equal that. And we're going to take a derivative. Uh, this derivative is a bit tricky, so we'll go through that carefully. So I like to think about breaking the furthest outside piece off. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Now the chain rule says you take what's inside, and that goes inside this function. So you know, the whole x squared plus 5 goes inside here. Then you ignore this cosine right here, and you go to the inside part. Derivative of x squared plus 5 is just 2x plus 0, or just 2x. And there's the chain rule part that shows up right there. Separately, you're going to do the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared, and you're subtracting it. So there's our f prime. Take all this writing out. Okay, now we're going to use, again, I'm going to scroll up. We are given an x1. So you could start here, but, but we're technically given an x1. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, we're given an x1, and we want to find x2. So we're going to find x2 given x1, and we're going to use this formula right here. So go ahead, write that down on your problem, and we're about to plug in a whole bunch of values. So we have uh, x2 equals x1 minus f of x1 over f prime of x1. And, uh-oh, my computer's having problems. Okay, uh, so I can't write anymore on OneNote, but I think what's on the screen is all we need. Uh, what you see happening over here <laughs> with the spinny hourglass, uh, I plugged in my x1 value, x, my x1 was 1. So x2 is x1 value minus f of x1 divided by f prime of x1, and I did uh, f of 1 over here on the left, the bottom right, and then f prime of 1 over here, uh, just below it, and you're going to take those two values and plug them in right over here. Uh, this one only asked for x2. If I needed an x3, I would go back up and redo this formula here, except I would increase all the subscripts by 1.